Welcome back to the UTEP Dynasty. In the last episode, we got spanked by Texas A&M, and today it's not going to get any easier because now we have to go into Austin and play against the Texas Longhorns. But before we do that, let's get into some recruiting. And let's scroll through where... Oh, we went down for this uh, right outside linebacker. Well, before we do that, I guess I can do uh, visits. Oh, gosh, that's going to be so many. All right, top schools right now. Duke's number one. Our pro potential went B+. Plus because I think we had uh, one. Yeah, we had a first round pick, so that's pretty good actually all right in week two um let's see any games upsets or anything michigan takes down oklahoma so oklahoma goes to zero and two on the season Clemson escapes troy wow boston college beat up university of massachusetts kansas state crushed army hey virginia tech gets revenge on vanderbilt in I irl 30 to 8 top 25 polls have changed no change in the top 10 but a few teams went up, as you can see, because Tennessee did fall down. USC was unranked and moved to the 20, top 24. And Wake Forest also went down from 11 to 25 after losing to Florida State. All right, let's get into our ass beating. Welcome to Austin, Texas and Daryl K. Royal Texas Memorial Stadium, where the horns are up and this burnt orange crowd is ready to help Texas hook them. Today, a battle in the Lone Star State, and when you play another team from Texas, it just feels a little bit bigger. As we'll see a squad from Conference USA, the UTEP Miners, taking on the 16th ranked team in the land, the Texas Longhorns. Stadium Pulse is rocking to begin the game. Toughness rank 11. Let's see if we can uh, change that. Get the ball to Trish Shea, and he's gonna pick up three. Oh, man, we're going to get sacked. They are going to run the ball, and Jalen, he runs between his offensive tackles, and Jalen Jones gets the tackle. They're going to run again, and he breaks off the tackle and picks up the first down. And he cuts in, and he gets a big gain. It's a short pass play, and what a block by their wide receiver and they're going to get 20 out of that and makes a cut and he picks up slight come on make that tackle don't let him get in the end zone third and goal they are going to run it and we hold them it's going to be fourth and goal and they're going to go for it this would be huge for our defense if we can make this stand let's hope that we can they're going to choose to run, and we stop them. Goal line stand for this defense. Unfortunately, we are on the opposing team's two-yard line. So let's just hope we can get our punter some space and not get a safety. That would have been really bad. And there's the safety. We couldn't really go anywhere. Jalen Jones makes the tackle. And it's going to be fourth and one. Our offense or our defense has stepped up today. With the Trisha again, it's going to be third and two. All right, third down. Let's see if Trisha can push through. Get us the first down, and he can. All right, third and three. Let's try to get a first down here. We're going to have a wide open white. Amari White picks up a big gain, and we are driving. Egit picks up three yards on the read option. Give me third and six. Wide open. I don't know who that was, but we got the first down. I'll take that. Let's try to kick a field goal and take the lead here. Kick is up. And no good. Yeah, there's just nothing I can do. We're just overpowered right now. He's chucking it up and he's wide open and they finally get their first touchdown of the game. Lobs it over his head and it finally worked. Gonna have to try to get it out quickly. 
Give it to Collins. All right, come on. Start now. Let's see if we can get a first down here. That was a bad decision. Yep, that was on me. Pick six. Damn, dude. Yep. Yep. Jalen Jones almost gets to like, intercept the ball. Yeah, I think next year, definitely just going to have to stop. I think I'm just going to schedule Texas A&M in Texas. No more Alabama. Nobody else like that. But I mean, we went toe to toe with FCS Midwest. So there's really nothing uh, we can do, honestly. They're beating us so bad, there is no stadium pulse at all. So maybe we can uh, take advantage of that. Out of re That's a late hit. How, like, why do they not program that into these games? I don't understand. And look at that. All right. This is brutal. Good Lord Almighty, man. What was that? And what was that? Oh my God. Oh man. Our linebackers are just like running away from them instead of like touching them. It's a nickel berry, but they big gain. Big catch by Collins. Get it out to him quickly. Is that Collins again? I think that was Collins again. Oh no, that was Claxton. Oh, what a move by Trish Shea. It was going to be five yards. What? <clears throat> All right. What? <laughs> Dude. Okay. Nice. Solid. Somebody make a tackle? Uh, let's just hold him to no touchdown. That's all I want to do. There we go. Third and goal. Good job, defense. Why would you throw the ball when you're up 44 to nothing in the fourth quarter? Like, they're still throwing the ball, and they're up 50 points. It's pathetic. Absolutely pathetic. You are up 58 to nothing with five minutes left. And you're throwing the ball. You're still throwing the ball. Okay. All right. Yeah, that's going to do it. Absolutely wrecked. 65 to nothing. That's just like last year. Not even going to look at the stats because uh, what's the point? What kind of stats would we have? And in the next episode, we are going to be playing against number seven, Alabama in Tuscaloosa, which will be the end of our grueling top 10 playing schedule. And, uh, yeah, so that's it. That was it for this episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it. If you did, please leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you have not, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.